actually start mashing Y. Hurry up, damn. Press Y and B. Cut straight through. And there you go. There's a gecko down. Uh, that's going to be very important for harder difficulties much later due to the fact that uh, those things can pretty much two-shot you. And that is not what you want to deal with. There should be some enemies coming up. Shit, I got hit. Anyway, that was those guys. Very good, Ryder. Now, keep heading for refinery. Now, if you hold right trigger while you're in these uh, stealth sections, because this is another one that you just necessarily don't have to fight in. Uh, they will they will know that you're there immediately, especially the uh, the cyborgs, the UGs, which are the unmanned ro robot things like the Metal Gears and all that shit, like this gecko, for instance. Uh, you know it'll fucking yeah. So you pretty much just need to kill. You can kill everyone, but it would be rather pointless. I usually just go for these two guys right here and then just run, and actually that gecko, because there will be a chance that it'll turn around and fucking try to kill me. So I'm just going to go for you. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, press B to fucking assassinate them. But you have to be out of their eyesight, which kind of sucks. I wish they did the Soliton radar thing from the other Metal Gears where they had that cone of vision. That would actually help quite a bit through my endeavor of getting through the harder difficulty. So I pretty much had to pick and choose my fucking fights in the harder difficulty, because there's not... There's certain instances of where if you fight, it's more than likely going to be the end of you, and you really don't want to do that. There's just one enemy in particular that that gives me that fucking vibe, so... But we'll get into that enemy when we see it in the next mission, actually. <laughs> so... Cyborg. Show yourself. By the way, I love how that chim plate is gonna be the comedic that comedic thing for a while. And the funny thing is this game doesn't take itself seriously. Which is really good. I kinda like that. It's not like Metal Gear where it is all serious. Like this game has its ridiculous humor. Or it's just like, oh, wait, I see what the fuck you did there, you know. <laughs> that type of thing. I mean, there are certain points of where it, uh, it does get serious, but then it breaks it in some sort of way. I'd say in the just these, the first two missions are pretty serious. Well, not even, because the first cutscene of this mission was, wasn't too serious at all. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> it's like, how dare you ask me such a ridiculous question? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Oh, technically it wasn't pointless. Now you're ready to fight. Well, here's our first boss, or, well, second, third, I don't know. First boss in the actual fucking game of Revengeance is, uh, <laughs> this Blade Wolf. Uh, he has pretty much, he has pretty tricky attacks. 
And, but in certain boss situations, well, in most boss situations, after you do a certain amount of damage to them, they'll do those, hey, I'm going to go away from you type of things, and you're pretty much stuck using fucking other shit. Oh, in certain instances, if you stun enemies, I forgot about that, you can just straight up fucking kill them like that. That's a Zandetsu or Zandatsu. Or, I think it's Zandatsu. That sounds stupid, though. Uh, yoink. Which is the stab and grab. That's what I prefer to call it. it sounds a lot better. Pretty much, you want to block a lot of his, uh... Oh, shit. No! Fucking! Oh, my God! I was... I was trying to block. I just didn't know which in what direction he was coming from. That's another thing. You have to... If you're going to block, make sure you're blocking in the direction that they are in. Because I remember one time where my back was fucking turned to the enemy, for whatever reason, and I was blocking the other way, and I got fucking... I got killed. And I was mad. Oh, this boss isn't too fucking difficult, to be honest. Alright, come on. I don't know why they started off with that. That's a really dumb thing to do. Alright. And then, it's pretty much... It's funny, the way that you'll know that the boss fight is pretty much at its climax, and you'll be able to kill the bosses when the actual music, <laughs> the lyrics to the song come on. But, uh, that's Blade Wolf. He's pretty much... He's not too difficult of a boss. Having all the skills and stuff that you need uh, and harder difficulties is what you need to survive. If you don't have it, you're pretty much fucked. By the way, how do they get my codec frequency? How are they able to call me? What would an AI know about freedom? <laughs> Pretty smart AI, though. There's another portion of where we could just not fucking fight. But as I see it, there's a guard right there, right there, and right there. One of them has a shield, I believe. Yeah, he, he has a shield. There's nothing I can really do about that shit. Unless I immediately get behind him, but I don't see that happen. Oh, see! See? Told you. Did see it happen. Did they both have shields? I didn't see that. Oh, he's already dead. What am I doing? More health. But uh, picking up extra items that you don't need will give you uh, additional BP. Bonus points, I don't know. Body points. I don't What is that even called? I have the instruction manual in this game and I still haven't looked that shit up. Maybe this will be another LP that I won't fucking die in. I'm hoping. I don't know. There's only one part towards the end of the game where I might die, maybe? But that seems very, 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 very doubtful. <laughs> I mean, very doubtful. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm trying to get my sub-weapon, which is left on the D-pad, if you're curious. All right. Ow. What the hell? Shot you with a missile, you son of a bitch. Okay, I need to get out of another one. Which they do provide you with missiles here. Uh, this boss fight, or I guess this would be considered a boss fight. 
But uh, this does get rather tricky later. I'm doing it. I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing. Okay. What? Wow. What? What just happened? What is happening here? That's exactly what I'm doing. It's just, it's just not... Okay. Thank you. I don't know. For some reason, that always fucks up on me. I swear I'm like, I'm holding it, I'm moving forward. It's pretty much ninja run motion. And I hate that. They give you... There's nothing else to slash up. So you're pretty much stuck with... Cutting air. Gotta be. That sucks. Oh well. Boo. And they just killed him. See, there was another person. Just died because I just decided to rush in. Like, I feel, I feel terrible about what just happened. That poor person. But I, I don't really care about saving those people. I don't... Actually, that achievement seems so fucking pointless. Because you have to be... I don't know how perfect you have to be to get them to not... Uh, for them not to notice you. Because I've never... never seen it happen. Well, maybe I... I or I haven't done it. I've only saved that one at the beginning. And even he died. And I don't know how the hell I saved him. Where the hell is he at? He still hasn't hit the ground yet. Oh. Maybe fucking waste fucking meter, you fuck. <laughs> now there are well, let's let's just let's just see how we do. So that's where they're first. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely, it opens only if you have the right ID data stored in your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access and uh, borrow it? You see any cyborgs around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. You know, back at the entrance to the old city. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hitch a ride. Most likely, platoon commanders carry correct ID data for the gate. Use enhanced mode to figure out who to hit. Okay. Obtain the ID data. Now, you can fuck this up, and it's not really a necessary mission because, uh, well, Raiden has the ability to cut through just about anything you would like to. Which I believe I may have already fucked this up, I'm not even sure. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Now with this guy. This is the guy that has it. What you need to do is go into blade mode and just cut straight across. That glowing green thing that just popped off of him was the left arm. That's all you need. Even though they say left hand, it's it's left arm. Don't even don't even try to chop off left hands. It's straight up their left fucking arm and that shit was glitchy. What the hell? That box is floating. Pretty sure there are a lot of glitches in this game, but we needed to come straight back through here and use the uh, thing. Now, if you failed that mission, however, what you would have had to do is just cut that, cut through the uh, bars here. Either way, you were getting through. It was just on how you were fucking getting through, to be honest. Would you have dealt with the ridicule of your teammates, pretty much? Alright. And when it comes to dismembering certain members, or members, uh, see, you see how these guys just go blue after a while? That's their armors being weakened, so then you can pretty much go for however you're gonna, you know, kill them however you want to with the, uh, blade mode. So it's pretty useful to know this. But these guys are pretty much done for it. All that, all those fucking points, and I can't do anything with them because I unlocked everything that I was physically able to unlock that I have right now. I think I'm missing one thing, but I'm not entirely sure. 
We'll get into that when we get to it. Right, she saw you all the way to hell from over there. Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, that's my fine friend. Yes, you did. Pointless cutscene, and yes, the mission is still going. I swear there would be certain cutscenes where I was like, oh, this will be a break in the mission. No, it's still part of the mission. Just a loading screen and a cutscene. Where they're BS talking to you. Alright, so here, augment mode. Immediately jump off and kill these guys. Just stealth kill them. You are good. That's right, I am. I mean, you can pretty much get through through this with just stealth, ugh, stealth killing. It, it works, you know, just as well. There's two more enemies. There's a gecko and a, another dude. Uh, in revengeance mode, I do believe there are more guards, like, in one compact area over there. Which is pretty much stopping you from getting to your exit. Which is, uh, that's, that's really not good, so... <laughs> And the type of enemies that are there are fucking ridiculous. So. Oh my god, I thought I was about to walk right into them. I was like, shit! I got him, though. Which, by the way, I love how they don't notice that fucking mooing sound. <laughs> but that's pretty much how you can kill all of them. What I usually do in the harder difficulties is lure the other two to the uh, to where I'm at, and then kill those two, and then just kill those last three. Uh, because I swear, sometimes in the harder difficulties, they won't be in the exact same fucking spots. So I don't, I'm not even sure. I think that's an, is that a relevant item box? I'm not even. Let's let's just uh, let's let's see. Oh, it's one of these. These are there are two different item boxes. The yellow ones, or the orange ones that we've been seeing, and these. Uh, but, oh yeah, I already got what was in there. It was another... That one has a uh, fuel cell, or not fuel cell, um, endurance maximum capacity upgrade thing. Which is, alright. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your solid on radar. The you can engage if you wish. It is your choice. See, the backup that they said that that's going to be there, it's two of those fucking helicopters, and I'm not fucking dealing with that shit <laughs> right now. Right. I just want to get this level done and over with. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence. But probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. So we're pretty much, we're, we're getting to the point of where we're almost done with this mission. Pretty much got one more trial of stealth and or combat to go. Well, we have one forced combat and one stealth left. So, 